Hi, this is Cassidy again, but I'm filming my bookshelf. Well, this is a little pumpkin I have here for like fall decoration. But I'm sad and bored about stuff and I don't want to get going to sleep. So I'm going to film my bookshelf, uh, which is kind of silly because I could just take pictures, but I'm not doing that. Also, if you hear music in the background, it's Keith Jarrett playing Solar. Very good. I'll link it after this video. Uh, anyways, let's start um, from the back. <laughs> Let me do this first. So we have Maya Angelou, James Baldwin. Really got some good classics. Then this random erotic fiction, I think it was called when I looked it up online. I don't know. It was on sale at the bookstore. Um... No longer human. Yeah, that was that was the time of my life. Um, and Pedagogy of the Oppressed. Like I still haven't read that, even though I was got it like my first semester. Uh, Boys Are on the Riot. You know, I would you know transgender, Japanese, all that. Um, Damien, original Yaoi. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> the Glass Bead Game. It's like the one Herman Hess book I don't have. I think. Or maybe I do have it on my favorites. So I, I don't remember. I need to double check. Um, then Sounds Like Titanic, which I kind of didn't like that much. The Vegetarian, 10 out of 10. Literally amazing. Um, this Mishima book, which I have not read. This Canal Scarred book, which I have not read. Wait, let me, let me move some stuff. Shit. I'm only doing this in one take, so... That's why it's a mess. Okay. Uh, what we got there? Oh, uh, three. Is it three? Yeah, three body problem. Still not read that. Ages for Hawk. Really, really good. Highly recommend. Uh, Notes of a Crocodile, my favorite book of all time. Literally nothing compares to her and her tragic death and her life and her impact on lesbians in Taiwan and literally everything. Uh, Cersei, all right, I guess. I don't know what I should say. Orientalism, literally difficult as hell to read, but Edward Said, like, everything he said that I could, like, understand, like, like, insane. Amazing. Okay. This book about proletarian Japanese literature, just as a bunch of proletarian Japanese literature, like, sh proletarian short stories by, like, proletarian authors. Uh, it's really good. I need to keep reading it. Uh, the Goldfinch, this copy that I barely read, but I bought because I wanted to spend money for some reason. Um, Real Life by Brandon Taylor? Yes. Um, I have not read it. Uh, that's all I have to say. There's nothing like good or bad or I have or anything. I found this really cheap third volume of Monster at my university's library. And I was like, I need to buy this because it's really cheap. Also, by Blu-ray of Hannibal's there. Okay, and then up here, this first edition of a Mishima book. I have only read a little bit of Mishima, so I'm not like a fanatic, but he's something. Uh, Alice Bechtel, of course. Then Ken Saburo Oi, I have. Then I have The Player. Thank you, Chloe. I tried reading it, but I was kind of in a slump, so I didn't like get into it yet. Uh, and then we got, of course, Thomas Harris. Don't ask why I have two copies of Science of the Lambs. Like, I found one at the used book off. Used book off. Yes, it's, it's book off. And it's someone's, like, photographs in it, which is kind of crazy. Also, if you want to see, like, the covers of any of these books or, like, want me to flip through them or something, I don't know why you would, but just let me know. Um, the third Canal's Guard book. I don't know why I bought it in hardback. Really, really stupid of me. To not double check that. The Penguin Book of Gay Short Stories. Uh, crazy that this one has an updated version, but the lesbian one does not. Like, as if there's no lesbian, more lesbian short stories to be updated. I don't know. I don't know. Also, the lesbian one was like twice as more. I don't know what was going on. Um, my brain is different. Stories of ADHD and other developmental disorders. You guys already know. It's, uh... It was pretty good. I really liked it. My alcoholic escape from reality. Pretty good too. Um, she's a mess. 
Um, I don't know if she's ever gonna get better. I, yeah, but she's something. Kenzabro Oi book that I really struggle to read. He, like, writes crazy long sentences. It's, like, impossible to understand. Not impossible to understand, just, like, I have a hard time reading it. But it's something else, too. Then the Penguin Book of Lesbian Short Stories. I only read the Alison Bechtel <laughs> comic that's in here. Also, it I barely read the gay short stories one also. So it's not like I'm not reading one and reading the other. Uh, <laughs> try not to get in trouble here. Um, the Unbound, which I like secretly bought at this bookstore in Virginia. I read 100 pages and then never continued, but... It's really good. There's also one about uh, a lesbian who gets top surgery in here. So it's not just transgender guys, which I think is really cool. Um, the Queen's Gambit. Literally, like, what if women suffered sex sexily? Sex sexily? Sex. I, I can't talk. Um, but they're also really smart and good at chess. Gore Vital. The time I was like, Sean, you don't know who Gore Vital is. Um, anyways, I haven't read it. It's his, like, memoir. The Collected Schizophrenia is. I'm going to read this next. After I finish Milk Fed, I'm definitely reading it. And then Close to the Knives, I might be reading it sometime too. And then I have Twins. And I don't know why I bought this really old copy of it. So I might end up reading it like a EPUB or something. And then I have some more books, but I have to put them back on the shelf. Sorry about this awkward ass angle. Wait, let me just pour my phone up here. Like I said, it's only being done in one take. <laughs> like, this is, I'm not, I'm not doing this again. Sorry. Like, sorry for the shit quality. Wait, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Um, shit. Okay. Um, so we have more nonfiction and fiction books here. Side effects on being trans and feeling bad. Honestly, that's where I'm at right now. So I might be reading this soon. The Wretched of the Earth. I found this for like really cheap at that same Virginia used bookstores that I got abound at. It was like, like years later I got it there. <laughs> and my brilliant friend. I was going to read this on the plane going back to the States. But that didn't happen, and I ended up reading the idiot part of the idiot on the plane, which I wish I had a physical copy of, but I don't, sadly. Um, solo dance, probably, like, up there with the vegetarian of, like, greatest book of the year. And then let them write one in, which is really good, too. And I really like that, uh, which is unexpected because I'm not a big, like, vampire guy. And then Bullshit Jobs, which I had to read for class, like, David Graeber, amazing, but... I struggled to read it because I was having a hard time at the time, <laughs> but it, it, it's really good. It's really good. Then Hannibal down here. Um, don't look at these magazine titles because there's some condemned people. Oh, there's, you don't have to fuck people over to survive. Really, really good. Um, then let's look at the manga. Um, what about, <laughs> I, oh my god, I know these titles. Which had Altier, I know I pronounced that wrong. Um, Tri Cornered Window, Ikokuniki, or Witch Hat, um, other stuff that Dungeon Meshi author has done. More Ikokuniki. Uh, also, I have some bookmarks down here, and then an album. And then, oh yeah, I have the Horror Silver Blow and the Blues Away. Very good album. It starts off like crazy good. Uh, the, it continues good too and there's the extra stuff um, that comes with the uh, witch hat books so that's about it sorry for this impromptu very shitty book tour but if you have any questions or want to like look at the covers or ask my opinions on books or something please let me know and um, reply comment with the book on here that's your favorite or that you would like to read okay thank you